yeah what's going on everybody welcome back to another little review here so this one is just talking about some hacks for the mormon liquidator this is a 3.0 complete setup so that's a 3.0 channel and the 3.0 handle so if um i really didn't like the nxt or whatever nxr or whatever liquidator um rubber um so what i did is i put I fashioned some black diamond rubber on it. Um, it works better, less streaks, um, less fuss. Like I said, I did have to cut up the rubber a little bit and, and finagle it to make it fit. But as you can see, it's not the best, but you know, I basically cut it to the width of the channel and the end clips here. It's not that bad. It works fine. And so, this one, it, like I said, it's a 3.0. It works really well. I just didn't, I don't like having to spend money on, um, what's it called, on proprietary rubber. So um, so that's why I just was like, you know, I'm not going to spend $46 or $50, whatever that rubber cost to, um, to use this damn channel and, and handle. <coughs> so like I said, this one does have the, the movable head. And the swivel action so yeah so i typically keep this at about i think at the 25 angle i don't like it any more than that the main reason i i like this one and i always keep this one with me is because of the flick pad which i don't have on it right now i think it's in the i think i had just washed it so i haven't cleaned out the i haven't put that stuff back in the car but the flick pad this one is my pole this is mostly i use it for pole work um because like again if you know you got to get to those edges you got you can swivel the head um you can kind of use this as a ledger almost because of the 45 degree angle head change and um yeah so like i said i didn't want to spend money on and i have a ton of black diamond rubber and it fits this channel it fits the stupid the stupid end clips and yeah so this is a uh, this is why i'm saying you just have to cut it up a little bit could have probably given some more um could have left a little bit more so this doesn't really touch the the frames but you know whatever um but it works well but let's say you don't want to use this this handle i mean the channel uh you can pop out the thing you can pop out the the channel right and i have here the brass at array brass channel uh, right there I don't know if you're able to see because of the glare of the sun, but this is the Ederay channel. And it does fit the handle. So it fits it pretty well. And um, like I said, there's no, there's not, I mean, it does move, but I mean, come on, like this isn't going to slide out on you um, when you're working. So this is typically how I keep it with the Ederay uh, brass channel on it. And I think a lot of people do. So... This also has the Ettore rubber and yeah. So just in case you guys wanted some hacks on how, how else you can use this wonderful handle, you can also use it on the brass channel, on the aluminum channel, and you can, um, and um, then yeah, and it works just fine. Like I said, this is one of the most popular setups and uh, this is how I use it. So if you like that, you know, check, give that a try. Like I said, some people put tape on the channel to grip so this grips a little bit more but i don't think you need to it's never slid out on me it's never moved as you can see nothing happens um last thing on how to remove the rubber on these editor on these mormon um handles with these like i said these stupid clips um as you can tell i really don't like these clips why can't they just do it like everyone else and have the little clips inside but anyways i just found out so I'm, there's not that much information on this. So what I've been doing is breaking these damn things. And um, I just found out all you got to do is pull the rubber out. So there's that. It, it is a bit of a pain in the butt. I wish I wouldn't have done this because now I have to put it back. But it is a pain in the butt. That's why I'm telling you the only reason I have this is for the combo action which is the flick pad, which helps out a lot with pull work. Um, if I'm not using it for pull, I don't even touch this channel. I always keep it with the brass. So the only time I ever use this is for commercial. That involves 
some sort of really high pull work that's not easy to um, just swap out the channels. I mean, swap out the, the squeegee to the bar. Um, so it's anything above 12 feet that my pole is extended. Well, as long as my pole is not extended past its um, collapsed um, height, which is 12 feet, I mean, five feet, I don't even bother using this and the flick. The only time I use the flick is any if it's extended any more than five feet because to bring it down, swap it, you know, it's, it's very annoying to maneuver. But yeah, so that's how you take the rubber out to put it back in. Like I said, I just slide a bit at a time. It's a lot easier. I, I, I typically put some soapy water in the in the groove so it can slide a little bit easier. But yeah, so now, like I said, when it's completely bone dry, it is very hard to put it back. So. And like I said, I feel like that compromises the rubber because you're stretching it and pulling on it and stuff. So, but either way, put a little bit of soapy water, pull out the rubber, and you're good to go. Um, to take the actual end clips off, I pretty much just use a, some pliers and I, I, you have to get this off of the groove here. So you can see right there, get that off of the groove and it'll come off. The flick um, clips come off very easily, but these clips do not. You have to kind of just like pop it out but yeah so that's it it's pretty much quick some quick little tips and tricks on the mormon and how you can utilize it in different ways and like i said if you don't want to deal with these stupid clips swap it out with the brass channel uh the Ed Ray brass channel all right so till the next one peace